Big Mike and Hayes Entertainment here. Today's episode, we got two American NHL prospects, Isaac Howard and Maddox Fleming. If you like what we're doing, you hit the subscribe button. Shout out to the John B. Pub for the sponsorship. I'm Maddox Fleming, play for the U.S. National Team Development Program. I'm an NHL prospect, and I'm coming in on the uh, I Only Touch Greatness podcast. I'm Isaac Howard, and I play for the U.S. National Team Development Program. I'm an NHL prospect, and I'm hopping on the I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Hands up the number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. I Only Touch Greatness podcast. Over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get hey, down or lay down. Lay down. Pretty good. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. This is I Only Touch Greatness podcast with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah no problem. Thanks for having us. Can I ask you a bunch of questions about hockey? Uh, what made you guys get into hockey in the first place? And did you guys play any other sports? Um, I, I guess I'll start. Yeah, when I I grew up in Minnesota, so kind of in Minnesota, you know, everybody everybody plays hockey there. So when I was like two or three years old, I actually started figure skating when I was little, and I saw a bunch of kids playing hockey and kind of wanted to get started on that. And ever since I was three, I just the boys played since then. Okay. Yeah, um, my dad definitely got me into hockey right away, and I just loved it. And I'm from Wisconsin, but super close to Minnesota, so basically did all my stuff in Minnesota. And I played tennis, soccer, and hockey. That was about it. Okay. okay. Hey, got a good Vancouver guy from Minnesota, too. Brock yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Brock. Uh, any nicknames and uh, what's your favorite jersey numbers and why? I know usually you guys don't get it at the U- at the U.S. development thing or whatever. You don't get to pick your number, but if you have if you could pick your number and what are your nicknames? Go ahead, Ike. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, wait, what was the question again? I forgot. <laughs> uh, any nicknames and what's your favorite jersey number and why? All right, um, nickname just Ike, short for Isaac. And favorite jersey number is probably 22. Um, my dad wore it, and I've just worn it ever since I was a kid. Yeah, uh, most people, my nickname's Flem, so a lot of people just call me Flem, and then for uh, Fleming, kind of shorten it up. And I like 21. I've been 21 ever since I was super little, so hopefully next year, next year you get to wear 21. Okay. Uh, Maddox, I noticed you got drafted by Portland Winterhawks. Uh, what made your decision to go to the U.S. development camp instead of a- – Instead, um, after attending Shattuck. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, Portland's a great organization. You know, the coaching staff and everybody there, really, really awesome. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, coming to the national teams, you know, it's kind of hard to say no to wearing USA on your jersey. And, and obviously, like, so many guys have came out of here that, that are great players in the NHL. And so I felt like it was just the best place for me and the best place to develop my game. Yeah, I got to agree with you. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a hell of a development. Well, then one of the best programs around the world, I'd say. Yeah, for sure. Um, yesterday, we had a couple of Shattuck beauties on and Shlane, uh, Coons, Morrow, and Wallace, too. Yeah, Great. yeah, they were my teammates last year. Yeah, they're, they're awesome kids, and they're, they're super good players. So they're going to have really good years this year. I can already tell. Isaac and uh, yourself, you both got drafted – or, Isaac, you got drafted as well, the OHL Erie Otters, and you chose the UF Development Camp. Why? Yeah, just the same thing. I couldn't say no to representing your country. And the development here is unbelievable. So I just thought it was easy choice for me uh, to make. So Definitely the right decision. What would you guys say the biggest adjustments were to the USDP? 
Um, I'd say, you know, probably we, we lived away from home at Shattuck, but I think definitely, you know, living with, living with a Billet family, it's been a really good experience, but obviously it's an adjustment. But yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I, I can speak for both of us. Like we're both pretty, pretty, pretty into the routine kind of now, you know, we're really used to things. And so I think we're, we're doing really well. Yeah, I think the biggest adjustment was just competing every day with the best kids of your age group. Like, you don't really get that anywhere else. So, I think that's been the best adjustment so far. Uh, you guys are both off to hot starts this season. Um, what do you guys feel contributed to that? Yeah, I mean, you know, just, just playing together helps. We've, we've been playing together for since we were really little and everything. So, so yeah, it was good to get get a good start to the season and – you know, I think we, we've got pretty good chemistry. We like to find each other a lot. And we, we skated together a lot this summer and everything. So, so it was good. Yeah, we got good chemistry. Uh, we are prepared well. And just nice to get a good start to the season. Who's your other line mate? Merrick Hayduke right now. Okay. Okay. I wonder if that's – It is. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's, it's Hayduke's uh, son, right? Yeah, it yep. is. Uh, what's your favorite movie about sports? Definitely the miracle. That's for sure the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say miracle, but I also like, uh, I like the Creed movie with, uh, with Apollo Creed's son from Rocky. That's a good one. Okay, yeah, with, yeah. with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, that is a good one. Um, take me back to your guys' first goal in the USDP. Do you remember it, and do you still have the puck? Um, my first goal was against Johnstown, just came in, uh, took a shot from the top of circles, went high glove and scored. And no, I don't I don't got the puck. Yeah, I actually came with Isaac. We actually scored earlier. It was in the same shift. I came down on kind of like a three on two, and then I got the puck and then fed it to him. And then like 45 seconds later, we had another chance in the zone, and then he fed me back door, and I, I buried it too, so. And no, I didn't get the puck. I mean, we kind of uh, – we would have had to steal a lot of pucks from the rink that night if we if we were taking all our first goal pucks. <laughs> it sounds like it might have been the same puck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, who do you guys need to hear your game after and try and play like? You can go, fun. All right, yeah. I, you know, I like to uh, I like to say like Mitch Marner, uh, Matt Barzell kind of – those righties that are just playmakers and, you know, good skaters. I like to, I like to watch them. They're super smart and – they like setting up their teammates and stuff. Like I like I like making plays with my teammates, and you know I, I like to say it, like to think I'm a good skater, and obviously you know something I can keep getting better at. But but yeah, even down, you know they're both righties. Barzell switched to white tape, but Marner still uses black tape, and I, I like black tape too. So it's kind of just down to the to the specific details why I like those guys. We we personally love Barzell. He's from my neighborhood and Mike's neighborhood. Oh really? Yeah, from yeah, as well. So yeah, we're from Coquitlam as well. That's where we're we're from right now. And uh, yeah, Barzell's a beauty. He's from here, and Dante Fabro. We have a couple guys from here. Yeah, yeah, he's he's unbelievable. Like even just in the playoffs, like he he dominated in the playoffs. I mean, uh, that's not you know something easy to do, especially going versus teams he was going against. But, but yeah, he's unbelievable. And he's still relatively young. Yeah, I know. He's not even. Yeah, off he his, I guess he's off his entry level now. But yeah, but yeah, he's gonna sign for some. <laughs> Big box probably this year. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to uh, I like to model my game after like a Taylor Hall. I think he's just explosive in his skating and creates a lot of chances. And he can do a little bit of both: shoot the puck and make some good plays. And I just think he has a great offensive mind. You guys have any pregame meals or rituals? Pregame meal basically. Always pasta, um, pasta and chicken, pretty much. And rituals, not really any. Just like to get the same stretch in and shoot some pucks or stick handle if I can. Yeah, I kind of say for me. I mean, we we eat the same pregame meal at the hotel every time, so just just pasta with some uh, some red sauce on it. And uh, yeah, I don't. I try not to get too much into rituals or anything, but I'm pretty superstitious like I have to time time my left skate and stuff before my right and but I try not to get into it too much because you know I don't want to forget something one day and then freak out yeah that's for sure don't let it ruin your game yeah exactly the most unique one we've had so far is a kid that plays in the dub 
he uh, puts his right shin pad on his left and his left shin pad on his right, and he's done it since like tight, and he's just stuck with it. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's no crazy. joke. Yeah, that's doesn't funny. feel weird. He was the second pick in the WHL draft. Uh, Connor Geeky. Oh really? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I could not do that. Do you guys have a favorite sports hero? Mine's probably Conor McGregor right now. <laughs> Oh, Guy's yeah. an absolute beast, and he's making his return January 23rd. So I'm excited to watch that. Yeah, yeah. it'll be a good one. Yeah, you're plugging, you're yeah. plugging the, you're plugging the fight on our show here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say mine's like Michael Jordan. I'm a huge, huge Michael Jordan fan ever since I was little, but especially after that, that whole documentary about him, yeah. just about how competitive he is, and you know, it took him took him seven years, and then you know, he won won six titles. So. Yeah, I, I really like like him. Good choice. Uh, you guys have both worn the Stars and Stripes and representing your country, and you definitely will be in the future as well. Describe that feeling. Yeah, uh, it was uh, – oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, that The feeling doesn't change. It, it feels just as good every time. Having that logo across your chest just makes it feel so special, and it's it's always awesome to do it. Yeah, it was it's crazy. I remember the first time we walked when we were in Switzerland, just walking in kind of like an old rink, walked in the locker room and me and Isaac were actually together and kind of like tapped each other on the shoulder, like, you know, wearing jerseys that said USA on it was pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, to think about you wearing your country on your chest and everything is a is a pretty unbelievable feeling, and especially like now we get to do it every day is is really, really cool. What was it like playing the youth Olympic games? Isaac, you ran on a complete tear, seven goals in four games. Yeah, um, me and Flem are linies, so he fed me some nice dishes. We had some good chemistry in that tournament. But the whole experience in general was just – it was crazy. It, it was the best experience I've ever had, staying in the village with all the athletes and stuff. I just thought it was so special. And the game and stuff, they all were, like, sold out. Um, it was it was the first experience, like, representing USA, and it was definitely a memorable one. It was awesome. Yeah, it was super cool. I mean, you know, it, it was it was a crazy experience. Like, obviously, look back on it, you kind of get frustrated, like losing to Russia, and you know, it was a, it was a little frustrating. I mean, I think I think we should have won that won that gold medal, but didn't didn't play our best in the gold medal game. But yeah, like you know, putting that aside, like looking back on it, it was it was just an unbelievable experience. I mean, we were able to play in front of sold out crowds versus other countries, and we were staying like like Isaac said in Olympic Village was was just crazy, but it was, it was good motivation for the summer for sure. Kind of to, to focus on what, what we need to get better at. And, you know, hopefully we get a chance to play Russia again in a gold medal game and can beat them. Oh, you guys probably will one day. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have a favorite road barn? Fine, you can go. Uh, favorite road barn. Uh, I would guys, I have to say probably in Minnesota and Duluth, there's a, uh, it's called heritage ice arena. It's up in Duluth. It's a, it's like a, an older rink, but it's super, super cool. The ice, the ice there is always perfect. So I always love playing there. Okay. Favorite road barn. Um, wouldn't say, wouldn't say I really have one. Uh, it doesn't matter too much to me. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite music before games? Both of you guys, like, what do you guys listen to before the games? Ike, Ike, you got this one. <laughs> um, Beyond I just like to I like to listen to some rap, uh, get me hyped up, and I like to listen to like SoundCloud remixes, kind of bass drop ones, and a, l- a little bit of rock every now and then. Yeah, I usually I usually like like listening to rap and stuff before games, but but recently just because I've tried to try to stay a little more relaxed before games, I've been listening to some country. It's kind of weird, but. I, actually nice. like I love it. I love hey, it. Yeah, country's <laughs> yeah. really big in Canada yeah. too. And yeah, uh, some Morgan, some Morgan Wallen before games is kind of my go-to a little bit. So. Okay. Okay. Um, who's the pump-up guy and who's the DJ on the team? Yeah, we don't um, really have one. Like, it kind of rotates around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The DJ. We just have. Uh, normally, we just have an iPad outside the locker room because we don't bring our phone phones in. So people just rotate uh, playing music. Maddox, you must be pumped to be attending the University of Notre Dame. Yeah, I'm super excited. It was it was a crazy process, you know, going through going through all the schools and stuff. But but you know, it it was really cool. I, I learned a ton. I mean, 
like like a lot of the coaches said to me, it's the only time when you really, you know, you really have the decision in hockey. A lot of the times from now on, you know, you're either getting drafted somewhere and you're getting told where to go or stuff like that. So it's kind of kind of only opportunity you get to choose where you want to go. And, you know, I, I just felt like it was the best best fit for me with with everything. Like school is super important to me and hockey obviously is really important to me. And I felt like it was a good mix of the two. So I, I'm super excited. Yeah. I've never actually thought of it that way, to be honest. But uh, yeah, really, for the rest of you guys' career, it's kind of you're going here and you're going here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. And a hell of a good movie from Notre Dame. Of course, Rudy. Yeah, Rudy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Isaac, you all obviously are super pumped to be attending the University of Minnesota Duluth as well. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I just – I love what they're doing recently in hockey. And I just think they're a winning team, so I couldn't pass that up. If a scout or GM were to ask, uh, what is Isaac or Maddox bringing to the table? Go ahead. Um, all right. I, I bring a lot of offense to the table. Um, I can find a lot of a lot of areas outside the ice and can uh, put the puck in the back of the net. I just like to focus on that. And I'm a pretty pretty fast skater and just pretty offensive. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, I, f I feel like I can uh, be super reliable in the defensive zone. You know, I think, uh, you know, I want to be the guy that coach put me out on the last minute of the game, either if we're up or down a goal. But I think, you know, I bring a lot of offense to the table. I feel like I know I know how to how to find the passing lanes and I, I have pretty good vision and can find guys like Ike that can put it in the back of the net. But yeah, I feel like I can I can just bring a lot of offense to the table, but, you know, also be super reliable in the defensive zone. What are some challenges both of you have come across and you're getting to where you are today? Yeah, I'd say uh, last year I played on the, the U18 team at Shattuck and first two games I didn't play too good. It was definitely, it was, it was pretty tough. And, you know, it was my first season of real hockey. I played, played high school hockey before that, but, you know, that's only 25 games and we were playing, you know, 40, 50 games. So I kind of had to learn how to, how to manage myself and to not get too up or down after a game, you know, I'd find myself, you know, if I, if I didn't play good, I'd not play good the next game. And if I played really good, you know, I'd carry that over. So it was kind of something I just learned how to manage, manage my highs and lows and everything. Challenge for me uh, would probably be my eighth grade year. I just went uh, to a high school and didn't, I didn't make varsity. I was just on JV and coach didn't really like me that much. So I kind of just had a, keep it to myself and uh, basically motivate myself because I wouldn't get all the ice time, but uh, just kind of kept working and I didn't quit. That's all. That's what it's all about, man. Tough it out and look what happened. Yeah. Uh, what's your guys' favorite sports franchise? doesn't have to be hockey. <clears throat> so I'm going to go. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd say, I'd say I can't, I don't want to say any hockey or anything. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, because you don't know where you're going to end up. Exactly, yeah. But, uh, you know, I'd say outside of hockey, probably the Vikings. Huge, okay. I'm a huge Vikings guy. Okay. Uh, my favorite organization, it would be in hockey, would be the Wild, just because they're kind of the home team to me. And yeah. outside of hockey, I'd probably have to say – I, I like the Warriors. I like the Warriors. Okay, good Steph choice. Curry and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The the episode before you guys, we actually had on Hunter Jones, who's a wild draft pick, second rounder, the goalie. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. What What'd you guys say your uh, go to celly is? <laughs> uh, I'm not a I'm not a huge celly. Or usually usually after I score, I just you know point at the guy who gave me the pass and then go back to the bench and try to do it again the next shift, but. But I'm not a huge – ever since I was little, I guess, my dad always <laughs> – my dad always told me after you score, you have to act like you've done it before, I guess. So it's kind of just – hasn't changed for me. <laughs> but, um, I, I don't I don't really have, like, a go-to celly. I like to I like to switch it up a lot. I like to do the sword, put the stick up. I like that one. Um, but, no, I have a lot. And then it just depends – depends on the goal. Um, a lot of the time I just point to the guy, but – Definitely, perfect. I'm excited. I got to I gotta pull out a good celly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's perfect. Uh, I always got one or two. But like you were saying, you got to act like you uh, 
been there before. I don't score many goals, so every time I get the goal, I'm either – you can't see me, John Cena, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> last game when I got the goal, I went saluted and I like, threw it in his face. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that Austin Matthews selling where he's pointing point with the ref. That one was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like watching his and uh, Ovechkin's, obviously. He's got some solid sellies. Oh, yeah. Ovi's got some unreal sellies. Oh, yeah. Isaac and uh, Maddox, man, we can't thank you guys enough so much for coming on today. And we know you guys are going for hockey, and we can't wait to cheer you guys on for the rest of your guys' careers.